Unveiling the Legendary Leviathan, Ancient Myths and Modern Mysteries In the vast and boundless tapestry of myth and legend, few creatures command the awe and reverence that the Leviathan does. Born from the deepest chasms of human imagination and the darkest depths of the ocean, the Leviathan is a symbol of untamed power, chaos, and the unfathomable mysteries of the sea. As we journey through the annals of ancient texts, folklore, and religious scriptures, we shall unravel the epic narrative of this colossal sea monster, whose presence has loomed large over humanity's collective psyche for millennia. The Genesis of Leviathan The origin of the Leviathan is as murky and mysterious as the ocean depths it is said to inhabit. The earliest references to this monstrous entity can be traced back to ancient Mesopotamian mythology. In the Babylonian creation epic, the Enuma Elish, the primordial sea dragon Tiamat is depicted as a monstrous embodiment of chaos, from whose body the gods fashioned the heavens and the earth. Scholars often draw parallels between Tiamat and the Leviathan, suggesting a shared mythological ancestry that spans cultures and epochs. The Leviathan finds its most enduring and detailed description in the Hebrew Bible. In the Book of Job, the Leviathan is depicted as a fearsome creature, a manifestation of God's unrivaled power. Can you pull in Leviathan with a fishhook or tie down its tongue with a rope? asks the Lord, challenging Job to recognize the futility of human endeavor against such a formidable beast. This biblical portrayal cemented the Leviathan's status as a symbol of chaos and divine might. Leviathan in Jewish Mysticism and Folklore Jewish mysticism and folklore further expanded on the legend of the Leviathan, weaving it into the fabric of cosmic and eschatological narratives. According to the Talmud, the Leviathan was one of the primeval creatures created by God on the fifth day of creation. In a grand display of cosmic balance, God created two Leviathans, one male and one female. Fearing their combined power could overwhelm the world, he slew the female and preserved her flesh for the righteous in the world to come, while the male Leviathan was left to dwell in the sea until the end of days. The Leviathan is also a central figure in the apocalyptic visions of the Jewish tradition. The book of Isaiah prophesies a time when God will slay the Leviathan, symbolizing the ultimate triumph of order over chaos, good over evil. In that day, the Lord will punish with his sword, his fierce, great and powerful sword, Leviathan the gliding serpent, Leviathan the coiling serpent. He will slay the monster of the sea. Leviathan in Christian Theology and Medieval Lore Christian theology adopted and adapted the Leviathan, infusing it with new layers of symbolism and moral significance. Medieval Christian writers often depicted the Leviathan as a representation of Satan, the great adversary who tempts and deceives humanity. In John Milton's epic poem, Paradise Lost, the Leviathan is invoked to illustrate the sheer scale and menace of Satan, who is likened to the monstrous sea beast as he lies chained in the abyss. Medieval bestiaries and illuminated manuscripts further embellished the legend of the Leviathan, presenting it as a literal and allegorical beast. These texts often depicted the Leviathan as a giant fish or sea serpent, capable of swallowing ships whole and creating whirlpools with its movements. Such descriptions reinforced the creature's association with the perils of the sea and the unknown. Leviathan in Modern Culture The legend of the Leviathan has not been confined to the annals of ancient texts and medieval lore. It has permeated modern culture, finding expression in literature, art, and popular media. Herman Melville's Moby Dick, a seminal work of American literature, draws heavily on the myth of the Leviathan, with the eponymous white whale embodying the elusive and destructive power of the sea. In contemporary cinema and literature, the Leviathan continues to inspire awe and terror. From the monstrous sea creatures in films like Pacific Rim and The Meg to the mysterious and powerful entities in video games like Subnautica, the Leviathan's legacy endures, captivating the imaginations of new generations. Symbolism and Interpretation the enduring appeal of the Leviathan lies in its rich tapestry of symbolism and interpretation. At its core, the Leviathan represents the untamed and chaotic forces of nature, the unknown depths of the ocean, and the limits of human understanding and control. It embodies both the fear and fascination that the sea has evoked in human beings throughout history. 
The Leviathan also serves as a metaphor for the eternal struggle between order and chaos, good and evil, and humanity's quest for meaning in a vast and often inscrutable universe. In this sense, the legend of the Leviathan is not merely a story of a monstrous sea creature, but a profound reflection on the human condition and our place in the cosmos. The myth and legend of the Leviathan have traversed centuries and cultures, evolving and adapting while retaining their core essence of awe-inspiring mystery and power. From ancient Mesopotamian myths and Hebrew scriptures to medieval Christian allegories and modern pop culture, the Leviathan has captured the human imagination like few other mythical creatures. As we continue to explore the depths of our own world and the far reaches of our universe, the legend of the Leviathan reminds us of the boundless mysteries that lie beyond our understanding, waiting to be discovered and, perhaps, never fully tamed. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.